What will Barack Hussein Obama's address to the world from the Oval Office be? Are we on the brink of World War III? And in Scripture, can we find reference to a third and final World War? Good morning, Shalom, my brothers and sisters. What an amazing day I had in the city of Detroit yesterday with our ministry, Christy and I, and I'm going to talk about this in just a moment coming up. We got to meet a viewer and a subscriber, and you are not going to believe what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing she has done. That is coming up. I'm going to have my coffee, then we're going to talk about what could Barack Obama's address to the world be? We're going to talk about that. Hold on. Let me have my coffee. What are you going to share with PD? Oh, good. I'm on my second cup already. On this Sunday, December the 6th, 2015, that's what's on everyone's mind. The end times. We see the prophecies being fulfilled and a lot of talk, a lot of whispers, a lot of uh, rumors of a third world war with what's going on with Russia and Syria and China, the United States, Iraq, Turkey, and Israel. We're going to talk about all of that. But do the scriptures, do the scriptures, do they kind of uh, show reference to the end times and the final final war let's go to uh the living word right now matthew 24 verse 6 and 7 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass luke chapter 21 verse 36 watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the son of man Matthew 24, 36, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. 1 John 5, 19, And we know that we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. Matthew 24, verse 21 and 22, For then shall be great tribulation, such as what was not since the beginning of the world, Till this time, no, nor ever shall be. Matthew 17, verses 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Matthew 24, 13. But he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. Second Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Matthew 24.22 And except those days be shortened, there should be no flesh saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right, uh, a lot of people are scratching their head and they are kind of believing. And we don't know what his, uh, what Barack Obama's address to the world will be tonight from the Oval Office. And I find this interesting. The, the dream that I had uh, a year ago of Dece from December 16th of uh, the, the TV coming on and there is Barack Obama addressing the world from the Oval Office. It's going to be interesting to see how all of this plays out. But what I believe is going on, his agenda, Barack Obama, the elite, the powers that be that really run this country and want to bring about this Antichrist new world order and this Antichrist system of a one world religion. Um, Obama's plan has backfired on him. That's what I really believe. Uh, he wants to oust Serious Assad, and he's using ISIS to do the dirty work and to do the damage, and that entire plan has backfired on him. Now we've got Turkey in the mix and running, uh, and we've even got Israel on the world stage with Turkey 
are using ISIS, the Islamic State, to bring oil in or through their borders. Uh, it looks like Barack Obama's plan probably backfired on him. Russia is there wanting to protect Assad and just to uh, bombard and destroy ISIS. We've seen that uh, Obama has done nothing. He won't even use the term. He will not say. He will not say. Uh, Islamic jihadist uh, terrorist. He will not uh, use that uh, reference whatsoever. He was trying to say that this uh, incident in uh, San Bernardino, California, well, well, it could have been workplace violence. He's trying to brush it under the rug. He's got the borders wide open. Tens of thousands of Syrian refugees coming across the border into the United States. Look what's happening in Europe and around the world. ISIS, he's bringing them in. He, he wanting to take away the guns and stricter gun laws. That's what his whole agenda has been. And I think he's finally realized that it's not going to work. It is not going to work. And I believe he needs a world war. He needs to bring troops in, boots on the ground now in Syria, to clash with Russia and the opposition. We're going to have to just uh, wait this out and see what he he is speaking about from, of all places, the Oval Office. Russia has already put out a warning. Russia has put out a strict warning to its military. But to prepare for a third world war with the West. We are in exciting times. I am so ready, rapture ready to go home. We were out with the ministry yesterday in the city of Detroit. And uh, I want to show you just a picture. We met with a, a viewer and subscriber to this channel and a supporter of our ministry. She has done so much for this ministry, Ellen. Uh, she gave me a card when we were at her house yesterday. A beautiful card. And uh, you're not going to believe what she has done. She has donated, I can't even count how many tons of toys for children for this year, for Christmas that would normally have nothing to open. Let me show you a picture uh of, our, of my wife's uh, SUV loaded, loaded with toys. And when we got home, we kind of sorted everything out downstairs, kind of, and there's still boxes and boxes and boxes. I'm gonna share this uh, little short clip with all of you. And believe me, believe me, all of these toys will be gone quickly. Some we had already delivered uh, uh, late yesterday. Watch it. All right, everyone, here's our dog, our black lab. And he is guarding all of this. He's very protective. <laughs> he is guarding all of these toys. We were in uh, Detroit, Michigan yesterday, Christy and I, and we went to a viewer and subscriber's house. And uh, her name is Ellen, and she has donated all of these toys, all of these toys for our ministry. So many kids uh, that normally wouldn't have anything for Christmas will have uh, something to open now. And the need is just so great. And I just want to give you just an idea. The lighting is bad back there, but. There are boxes and boxes and boxes of toys. And uh, believe me, all of this will be gone very quickly. I just wanted to show you, uh, my goodness, my goodness, what a blessing. More toys all lined up on the floor. My goodness, this ministry is just so blessed by viewers like you. I want to show you. There's our dog. <laughs> God bless him. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you so much. So I want to thank Ellen, who has just totally blessed our ministry. Our ministry goes far beyond just reaching the homeless. There are so many people in poverty and need in this country. 
and if the United States people are suffering and people are hurting and this is what we are called to do in the end days and if the Holy Spirit just uh, overpowers you that this is the ministry for you to support I'll put the link to our ministry below have no fear we don't know what's around the corner but we know we are in the end times we know that these things must come to pass that there will be great tribulation in the world that this world has never seen and will never see again we are on the brink of the biggest event in the history of mankind people are going to suddenly disappear from the face of the earth they're going to try to tell you amen they're going to try to tell you the vatican is going to come out the pope the false prophet, he will come out and he will say that there has been some type of extraterrestrial invasion, that people uh, have been abducted. It's been an alien abduction. They will use every trick in the book. Satan will use every trick in the book to deceive the masses. They will put uh, Project Blue Beam a hologram up in the sky. But when you hear when you hear that trumpet and the dead in Christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and there we shall forever be with the Lord with Yeshua with Jesus know that this is the rapture of the church don't be left behind call upon Jesus today call upon Jesus today invite Jesus into your heart acknowledge to Father God that you're a sinner and ask forgiveness, you will be forgiven. Acknowledge, speak with your mouth that God rose Jesus from the dead on the third day and invite Jesus into your heart. Do it now. May not have time tomorrow. God bless everyone.